The Battle of the Pyramids, also known as the Battle of Imbabe, was a major engagement fought on July 21, 1798 during the French invasion of Egypt. The French army under Napoleon Bonaparte scored a decisive victory against the forces of the local Mamluk rulers, wiping out almost the entire Egyptian army. It was the battle where Napoleon employed one of his significant contributions to military tactics, the divisional square, actually a rectangle. The deployment of the French brigades into these massive formations repeatedly threw back multiple cavalry charges by the Egyptians. The victory effectively sealed the French conquest of Egypt as Murad Bey salvaged the remnants of his army, chaotically fleeing to Upper Egypt. French casualties amounted to roughly 300, but Egyptian casualties soared into the thousands. Napoleon entered Cairo after the battle and created a new local administration under his supervision, one of the classic encounters in East-West rivalry. The battle highlighted the weaknesses of the Ottoman Empire in the face of a changing Europe rocked by the French Revolution. Napoleon named the battle after the Egyptian pyramids because they were faintly visible on the horizon when the battle took place. Prelude In July of 1798, Napoleon was marching from Alexandria toward Cairo after invading and capturing the former. He met the forces of the ruling Mamluks nine miles from the pyramids, and only four miles from Cairo. The Mamluk forces were commanded by two Georgian Mamluks Murad Bey and Ibrahim Bey and had powerful and highly developed cavalry. This fight was known as the Battle of Chobrakit. Napoleon realized that the only Egyptian troops of any worth on the battlefield were the cavalry. He exhorted his troops, saying, Forward! Remember that from those monuments yonder forty centuries look down upon you. Battle. Napoleon ordered an advance on Murad's army with each of the five divisions of his army organized into hollow rectangles with cavalry and baggage at the center and cannon at the corners. The French divisions advanced south in echelon, with the right flank leading and the left flank protected by the Nile. From right to left, Napoleon posted the divisions of Louis Charles Antoine de Sex, Jean Renier, Dugois, Viol, and Louis André Bon. In addition, de Sex sent a small detachment to occupy the nearby village of Bictel, just to the west. Murad anchored his right flank on the Nile at the village of Mbabe, which was fortified and held with infantry and some ancient cannons. His Mamluk cavalry deployed on the desert flank. Ibrahim, with the Second Army, watched helplessly from the east bank of the Nile, unable to intervene. Chandler asserts that Napoleon's 25,000-strong army outnumbered Murad's 6,000 Mamluks and 15,000 infantry. At about 3.30 p.m., the Mamluk cavalry hurled itself at the French without warning. The divisional squares of Desex, Renier and Duguay held firm and repelled the horsemen with point-blank musket and artillery fire. Unable to make an impression on the French formations, some of the frustrated Mamluks rode off to attack Desex's detached force. This was also a failure. Meanwhile, nearer the river, Bond's division deployed into attack columns and charged Mbabe. Breaking into the village, the French routed the garrison. Trapped against the river, many of the Mamluks and infantry tried to swim to safety, and hundreds drowned. Napoleon reported a loss of 29 killed and 260 wounded. Murad's losses were far heavier, perhaps as many as 3,000 of the irreplaceable Mamluk cavalry and unknown numbers of infantry. Murad escaped to Upper Egypt, where he carried on an active guerrilla campaign before being run to earth by de Sex in late 1799. Aftermath Upon the news of the defeat of their legendary cavalry, the waiting Mamluk armies in Cairo dispersed to Syria to reorganize. The Battle of the Pyramids signaled the beginning of the end of 700 years of Mamluk rule in Egypt. Despite this auspicious beginning, Admiral Horatio Nelson's victory in the Battle of the Nile ten days later ended Napoleon's hopes for a conquest of the Middle East. Engulfed by the West Bank portion of the city of Cairo, nothing remains of the battlefield today.